Hey, it's some old guy coding again, and I want to show you what I've been up to here. I've been working on this uh, mostly printed CNC fourth controller, so this is a fourth uh, interpreter compiler system uh, with simulation, and it's pretty cool. Um, I've got a piece of code in here that I've been uh, playing with that also I've been using to uh, test the system with. And uh, let me show you where this all came from, this piece of code. Uh, let's see if I can find my uh, browser here. So let's flip back here where I was doing searches on uh, Lissaju, I think it's pronounced displays, Lissaju patterns. And I came across this uh, harmonograph uh, uh, thing. And what a harmonograph is, it's uh, weights uh, that are swinging in <coughs> opposite directions here. This one's swinging the uh, paper back and forth, and this one's swinging the pan back and forth that way and it generates uh, interesting patterns like you know like that so then of course I came back here and I saw that this had to do so with uh, uh, code and I said, hey look at that so I we went over to that place and this is uh, discusses that uh, and there's some of the code there but uh, I poked around a little bit more and I went over to here uh, there and let's see archives come on you can do it and uh, let's see that's not quite where I ended up my apologies somehow I ended up over here and uh, then there's this uh, source code for Java that uh, I ran into and I took a look at this and I came down here to the core of the operation let me find it again. It's actually quite small. Here's the actual core. Here's a setup of the variables right here. I said, hey, well, I'll do that in fourth. <laughs> so I sort of translated it into fourth here. Let me bring my uh, code back up as soon as I can find it. There it is. And I sort of uh, converted that into fourth here and uh, kind of been experimenting with it. I'm not sure how exactly it works. I've used some of his initial values, but I don't quite get the same display, so I don't know if there's a, a bug in the code or, or what. Um, this uh, calculates the X position, and this calculates the Y position. Uh, that was built into the main loop here, but uh, you can see I'm calling them here, calc X, calc Y. Um, but to help me debug the, the routine, I separated them out. Um, and here I'm centering it and scaling it down to fit on uh, my machine. And uh, first pass, if it's the first pass, it, um, it doesn't draw anything. It moves to the first position. Um, and it turns the laser on and it tells the fourth controller the pens down. And then on the second pass and subsequent passes, it just starts moving the uh, moving the laser along. And uh, on his uh, the original code, it, it bumped uh, the loop count, which is a huge uh, zero to a very huge number, uh, which generates a time value. Um, he was bumping by one, but maybe I've got a bug here someplace because that went really really slow for me and uh, it, it would take a long time to produce and the points were so f close together that it really wasn't plotting anything so I came to a happy medium here um, you know I'll tweak this some more and figure out what's going on it's probably this guy right here that uh, <laughs> maybe I don't know uh, we're dividing I by a thousand that's probably the thing that's hurting me right there so but we'll look at that some more in any case I wanted to show you what this one's doing so we'll load up that code. I'll do a clear. I don't know what's on there before. I'll do a load. And then we'll do a run. And I've got my simulator checked here. So I'll hit enter. There it's going. Let's go over to simulation here. We can watch it run. Now this is my CNC machine scale here. It's the size of my CNC machine. Uh, we'll just watch it spin for a little bit there. Uh, I'm going to save this as G-code, and I'm going to go downstairs and see if this will actually work. That'd be really cool to be able to generate these sort of displays on a, 
a wood panel or something. I just think that'd be really cool. And and this is just one of them, um, you know, infinite number of patterns I'm sure you can generate with this piece of code. Um, you can see here on the pre-diff values, I have my uh, X size and Y size uh, set to the size of my machine. So you could certainly set your size, the machine in there, and then uh, tweak uh, this uh, center and the scale to um, make it look nice on, on your size. I'll have a series about this uh, uh, MPC and C fourth controller coming out uh, shortly, and uh, we'll, we'll dig into it and dig through it, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, somebody will find it enjoyable out there. Not too much of a bore. The fourth controller here is uh, designed that you can actually connect up to um, the uh, appropriate uh, uh, serial port. It's working on Mac, it's not working on PC yet, I've still got to debug that. <coughs> and you can uh, run this so that it speaks uh, with the simulator turned off. You can run it so that it talks to your CNC machine and, and, and moves the head around directly. Or, if you uh, find that inconvenient, I've also got uh, a way to record the G-code here during simulation. So let's go ahead and do that. So you see during the loading process, it's already generated a couple of pieces of uh, G-code here. It's uh, made sure that the laser's off to start and it's set absolute mode. Now we're going to run, and there goes the G-code. There's going to be a ton of it for this guy. I'll watch the simulation. But in any case, uh, once it's done, then we'll I'll save it and move it downstairs to the CNC machine. We'll give that a try. Oh, that looks pretty darn cool. I like it. You can see there is the uh, little fragmentation going on here, so I think I'll, I'll decrease that uh, loop increment. I was worried about it getting a little too dark in the middle here, but I think that that's fine. And of course, the resolution of the laser on this board is a lot finer than the resolution of the uh, little graphic on that uh, program upstairs. Oh, this looks nicer. Pretty cool. So I will be publishing the um, the code, um, uh, publish things as they are out on the website, and add a link to this video. And uh, we'll keep working on it. Thanks much for watching. Well, you think I'd be able to find a littler nipper than, than this, but you know, sometimes the party's just over and the disco ball has to come down. Don't worry, it'll be back later. <laughs>